Hello everyone. So it's 3rd April, 8.53 a.m. and it's time for my class, online imparters lecture class. So let me prepare myself for that. So the very first thing I would do is open Google Chrome and go to the website called a.impartus.com. As soon as you type a.impartus.com, you will land up in this particular page where you can put your username and password. Once you log in, it will go into the Impartus site and on the right here, you can see upcoming live sessions. And the start button is not highlighted as of now because it's not yet 9. So as soon as it becomes 9, you will be able to see the start button being active. Once you click on it, it will lead you to another view in which you can share your screen and demonstrate. So what exactly does sharing your screen mean? There's a button called share screen, which I'll demonstrate later on. Once you click on that, whatever you do on your screen, you may open... A PowerPoint now this is my lecture class for today so you may open a PowerPoint so even if you haven't put it in full screen they will be able to see all of this so even if you demonstrate a video uh, or a PDF or a word document whatever is seen on the screen as of now you can see the yellow car over there so whatever is seen on your screen will be seen along with the audio so the way it goes up is you have to keep your PowerPoint ready and there are some do's and don'ts that you should be knowing about the Impartus live session. First, you should conduct the class with a headphone because the audio is much more clear. Preferably work in an isolation where you don't have a TV running in the background or a fan running in a very loud, loud noise. It is preferable that the faculty uses only the computer because PowerPoint manipulation and demonstration is much better there. You have to be aware of the system timing to be accurate. So what does that mean? Say here in my computer, the time is 8.55 and it should be the actual time so that the lecture class starts at 9 a.m. So if your system time is showing 9 already, you will have the start button active or if it is showing 9 p.m., then you will, your start button will not get active. So it's important for us to keep the system timing to be correct. Now there may be a few issues which you will face. So the camera or the audio is not working. Yeah, it's preferable that you use only Chrome. Other browser seems to give some trouble. The taskbar will appear when the live button is clicked. The start button is clicked. There will be one pop-up coming up from the top. So just in case the start button is clicked, there will be a pop-up coming up somewhere in the top region here. And in that button, you should say allow. Once you say that, then only it will allow you to go ahead and demonstrate your video as well as the audio. There has been an instance that some antivirus may disable the camera. So maybe you will look into that before you go. Preferably use a broadband, not a hotspot. So these are the key features of Impartus Live session and let me wait for the next three minutes so that this start button comes. Alright, so it's 9 a.m. and you can see the start button is getting activated. When I click on the start button, it opens into a virtual classroom and it is telling me about my class and then when you click on start now you can see a new site that is coming up and you can see that one of the students has already joined in here so this is the chat drop box now here there are a lot of options that are given above and i am particularly interested with this button called share screen when I click on share screen, so whatever I am demonstrating here will be shared. So it is asking you whether you want to share the entire screen. You say click on the selection and say share. So 
so you can see the whole view being shared over there and then you minimize it open your powerpoint put it full screen and start with your lecture So that's how we conduct the live session. What you should also remain aware of is look at the chat box and see if the students are able to hear. Yeah, every 15 minutes, just have a look at the chat drop down box so that you'll know whether the students are able to attend your lecture properly or not. Good luck taking lectures.